Picking a major in college is a big deal. It's very important that you pick the right major for you. Picking the right major means that not only does it have the opportunity for you to find work, but also it needs to be aligned with your personal interests and personal traits. So today I wanted to share a little bit about my story of how I decided to switch from one major into computer science. What were the decisions that I had to make? How did I navigate that change? And here's my story. So when I was in college, I had a decision to make. Do I major in electrical engineering or do I focus on computer science? At the time, I decided that if I went down this electrical engineering path, what were the different positions that were available in the market? And would I be able to find those jobs easily after I graduate? I applied this same logic to computer science as well. I looked at what types of positions I can take and how easy it was to find jobs after I graduate. And this was around 2013. So electrical engineering, I could potentially be a, an electrical engineer for a company like Boeing, for NVIDIA, for AMD, for any type of hardware company where they need a lot of specialty in hardware engineering. Uh, and I looked at computer science, what were the types of positions that I could get? I could be a software engineer, I could be a product manager, or I could be a data analyst. Okay? There were a lot of different types of positions that I could take up with a background in computer science. In that time, there were a lot of companies that were starting to crop up. You start hearing about Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, I was still a little startup at the time, Twitter. So there were definitely many, many more companies in the US that were looking for software engineers and there were much more opportunities for people graduating with those majors. The result was clear. Being an electrical engineer, there were only few very large companies that were concentrated in specific areas that were hiring. And even when they were hiring, it was not very easy to find a job because I looked at how many graduates electrical engineers were being produced every single year and how confident I was to be one of those who were being able to pitch and work for these large companies. I wasn't very confident. And then I looked at computer science. There were many, many companies that were hiring at the time. And I looked at how many graduates the US was producing at the time. And it was very clear. The supply was much lower than the demand. There were not enough graduates coming out of school with a degree in computer science, but the demand for it in the US in 2013 was extremely high. So with that early stage research that I did, I decided that computer science was a very promising field with a lot of opportunities for growth in that area. Now, of course, with that said, it doesn't mean I was going to jump into computer science right away just because it had good potential. That was equivalent to saying, oh, I looked at MBA, a lot of players are gonna make a lot of money, therefore, let me try to aim for MBA. It doesn't work that way. So the next thing I did was figuring out if I had the right interests or skill sets that would allow me to do well in computer science. I started talking to different people. I started reaching out to my professors in computer science and also alumni of my school in computer science who are either working in Microsoft or Amazon, get their advice or their perspective on what makes a good software engineer. I think that was very important for myself because I can see sort of through their lens what makes a good software engineer and if I would enjoy being in that type of environment. With any job out there, it's very important that not only do you have the right skill sets, but you also have to be able to enjoy them. If you don't enjoy your job, then what is truly the point? You're only going to suffer through, and it doesn't matter how much money you make, you're not going to be able to enjoy your life. You're gonna hate everything. So that was very important to me. So I remember that my professor was really nice. He introduced me to a software engineer at Google who was an alumni of the school and help make that introduction. And I reached out to them, I chat with them and understood from their perspective, what was it like going to the same school that I was at? And what was it like finding a job and being in their position today? What were the skill sets that they identified? What were the classes that they thought were useful? And what are the traits or personality that you need to have in order to be a 
good software engineer. Through that conversation, it was enlightening to me. First, to be a good software engineer, I remember that they told me, so you need to have some background in math. Um, even high school math is fine. You don't need to do any sort of like crazy types of math as a software engineer. That was the first thing. The second thing is you need to be able to very calm doing different types of work every single day. Because of how fast computer science as a field was growing, you're going to be faced with different challenges, things that are moving all the time. So you have to be comfortable adapting and growing along that types of change. And the third thing that was very important here was you need to be able to sit down and focus and deduce using logical reasoning. So in computer science, if you're working with a lot of large scale uh, software, you have to be able to take things step by step through the process of elimination, figure out what was wrong, where was the bug in the software itself. In short, there were the three things that were very important to be a good software engineer. Number one, you need to have some background or interest in math. You need to be able to sit down and focus and use logical reasoning to figure out where things went wrong. And the third thing was you need to be able to adapt to high pace changes all the time. To me, when I heard those three things, it felt like it was a very good fit with myself, with my personality. I enjoy tackling ambiguous things. I enjoy working with change. I definitely don't like it I have to, if I have to sit somewhere and just do the same thing over and over and over and over again. It just kills my creativity. I don't like doing that. So with that said, you know, I decided that computer science would be a great field for myself. If you're still watching this at this point, I'm very curious if you're still in college or you're deciding if you want to go into computer science, what was your decision framework? How do you decide whether or not computer science would be the right field for you? Please leave a comment below. I'm genuinely very interested to hear your thoughts and how you're navigating that change. For me at the time, it was a huge change. My advisor at the time told me multiple times, hey, think about this. Make sure that this is the right career path that you want to head into. So it took me a lot of research, a lot of courage on my part to finally make that switch. And I've never looked back. I enjoyed my classes. I took up all the classes. I enjoyed chatting with my professors, with my classmates, and writing software, all that stuff. It was a great decision and I've never regretted that since. So hopefully that was useful for anyone who's watching this or thinking about whether they should take up a major in computer science. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.